Hey everyone, welcome to another Sunday Art Fork. Uh, this is where I will load, upload a video about um, a piece that I've done during the week and make it a Sunday piece. Or I just might do it on Sunday, like I'm doing now. So what I've got here is a piece I was thinking about trying to do uh, at least one artwork a day um, on this sheet. Uh, it's uh, more like a letter kind of a writing sheet and I thought let's give it a go. So I've come up with whatever comes to my mind I will draw it. So this is girl on fire or fire girl whatever you want to call her. Her hair is on fire. So I'm thinking of fall kind of a um, Christmassy winter I don't know she's just on fire okay so here is my tea I'm just using artist loft um, markers uh, that's the next version for me and not using the Copics I I could not afford the Copics at this time so I got me a pack of 24 dual tip sketch markers and they're the artist's loft However, I find that these markers are really nice. They, they have the bigger size too, but I just um, go for this one. As well as you can buy individual colors apart from the 24 pack that we have, that um, they have, and just add to your colors like different shades of greens and so forth. And um, that will give you a variety. Pretty much similar to the Copics. The colors are really nice. However, I do find that if you don't store them well, they will dry out. And um, my bad too, I did canvas work and I use them on the canvas, um, like the softer texture canvases that they have at the dollar store and so forth. If you check my other videos, you will see a canvas piece or something that I did. And using those markers, I really like them on the canvas, but it kind of ruins the tip if I want to use it on the paper like I am. Now I have to be turning it at specific angles because I have already ruined the tip. But I really like them for canvases. So if you want to try them on canvas, go ahead. The, the colors are brilliant. Um, so for this piece, um, Fire Girl, I found it really inspiring. Um, so I had a mixture of orange and yellow. Um, this is a nice soft yellow that I'm using and I wanted her skin to be a little bit darker or more brown and um, she's supposed to either be daydreaming or about to be about to fall asleep or something. But um, yeah, I did like it. I do bring it to um, some of my friends and have them <laughs> vote and see which pieces they like for the week or the piece of the week and she was the winner so here I am uploading her so you guys can have a look to see what colors I use and just to inspire you as well all right so this would be one of my pieces for the week and the challenge for myself is to draw at least one item uh, for that day because I want to keep myself drawing and updated and just doing random stuff not having to think of, okay, I have to look at a reference, but just to be creative in my own mind, something that, you know, I might not have seen somewhere else, but just what I thought of. So she's my inspiration for the week. And I'm just encouraging you to go ahead, think of something that you want to do and make it your inspiration piece, um, because that will bring out your creative side too. And it will also help you with colors and blend in and just being spontaneous. All right, and uh, sorry for the glove. I did have an accident with my hand. One day I'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> it's actually getting better, but that did not stop me from drawing. Woohoo! Alrighty, so be inspired, and uh, definitely thanks for checking in and watching my videos, and I'll keep you posted. I think I'm going to start doing digital art too as well, but that's for another video and another time to come. Alrighty, so there you go. That's my fire girl. And uh, let me see what yours look like. If you have time and you want to draw a girl on fire, she's blazing or she's also a fire girl. Alrighty, ciao.